Welcome to the third video of our cartoon Octopus series. As always, you will find the download link for the latest blend file in the video description, so you can start with the tutorial right away. With Shift A, Armature, Single Bone, we create an armature with a single bone. In the viewport display menu, we activate in front to see our armature through the model. In edit mode, we scale down the single bone. Select the tip and with EY, we extrude a little bone in Y direction. In the bone properties, we deactivate connected to be able to move the new bone independent from the main bone. Position the bone at the root of the front arm. Rotate and align the bone with the front arm and extrude bones along the shape of the arm. In this tutorial, I created seven bones, but eight or six would be fine as well. Next, we need to execute a special operation. We select all bones of the arm, duplicate them with Shift D and commit the action with right click. We press P to separate the new bone chain into a new armature. Back in object mode, we set the pivot point to 3D cursor. The cursor should be in the world origin. With RZ45, we rotate the armature to the next arm. I will show you what happens when we rotate the bone chain in edit mode. We get some weird rotations of the bones. I don't know how to prevent this in edit mode, so we need to do the duplication in object mode. Repeat the copy and rotation until every arm got a bone chain. Before we can join the armatures, we need to apply all transformations with Ctrl A, all transforms. Otherwise, the weird rotations are back. Now we can join the armatures with Ctrl J. We switch to edit mode again and extrude another bone from the tip of the main bone in Y direction. Deactivate connected and deform and rename the bone to I.L. Switch to object mode and select all faces of the left eye and press Shift S, cursor to select it. Switch to the armature and in edit mode select the eye bone. Go to armature, snap to 3D cursor and after that go once again to armature menu and click on symmetrize. Blender creates another bone in the center of the other eye. Rename this bone to I.R. Extrude another bone from the main bone and deactivate connected and deform. Position this bone in front of a face. We switch to the eyes. You can apply the mirror modifier in case it is still active. Select all faces of a left eye and press P to separate the faces into a new object. Rename the eyes in the outliner in eye left and eye right. Select the armature and switch to pose mode. In the outliner, we select the left eye and with shift select the bone eye.l and press Ctrl P parent to bone. Repeat for the right eye. Select the right eye in the outliner and shift select the bone eye.r and parent to bone. In edit mode, rename the center bone of the eyes in eye main and return to pose mode. Select the left eye bone and click into rotation X and with right click add driver. Under object insert the name of the armature and under bone select eye main. The type should be Z location and the space must be local space. Click on update dependency. Right click once again into rotation X and choose copy driver. Go to rotation Z and choose paste driver. 
edit driver and change the expression to minus var and the type to x location and update dependencies. The eye main bone should now control the left eye. All we need to do is to copy the drivers to the right eye bone. Copy the drivers from X rotation to X rotation and Z rotation to Z rotation. The eye main bone controls now both eyes. And we finished our eye rig. Back to edit mode of our armature, I rename the origin bone to main. Insert the main bone into parent of each first bone of every arm. Next I switch to object mode and select the suction cups. When I show the face orientation, I see that all suction cups have a wrong orientation. Go to edit mode, normals and flip and the problem is solved. Merge the suction cups with the octopus with Ctrl J. Select the octopus and shift select the armature and press Ctrl P, armature deform with automatic weights. Now we can test the armature and check if everything works fine. During the test I found out that the first bone in each arm deforms the head too much, so I switched to weight painting. Here I set the weight to zero and increased the brush size. With a blue color I reduce the influence of a bone. I have to repeat this process for each first bone in each arm. Since I didn't name the bones properly, I have to click through the vertex groups until I reach the next bone. At the end I will show you how to use shape keys. In object mode click on plus to add a base key and click on plus once more to add another shape key. I rename this shape key to mouth closed and with this shape key selected I switch to edit mode. In edit mode I move the vertices so the mouth is closed and this state of vertices is stored in the shape key. In object mode I can use the value slider to animate the closing mouth. And that's it for the rigging tutorial. Now you can pose the octopus and create scenes like this for example.